Hello, my name is Manuel Gasago. I will be showing you a uh, test that is made by C Sharp and exam report. So we start off with the exam. The first thing I did was create a menu and a sub menu. So the menu I'm on the file, as you can see here. And the, in the sub menu I have a new save and open. Now, I created this set of buttons. This one to make the text for me. This one to make the button the text italic. This one to remove right on the font bold. This one to increase the size of the font. This one to decrease the size of the font. This one to make the background white like it is right now. This one to change the color of the background to red. This one to change the, uh, the color of the background to blue. This one to change the color of the background to yellow. And then here I have this list box. This list box shows all the types in the system of the font families. As you can see here, the item source is the system font families. Now. This one is a rich text box in which we will able to write text. As you can see, this is the word of all the buttons, the list box, and all the other buttons. And now we go to the C sharp. When I press the bold button, the so this one represents the body represents the rich text box. That is this one. Now I change the font weight to bold in order to make it bold. The italic I change the font style to italic. Now to increase the font size I did body so the rich text box name the font size and increase it by two. Increased. I kept it. It keeps the key to get by two. Now, to so if you have a text and it's bold and italics, you can make it normal again. So I did font size of minor and font weight of one. You have to move the italics and the bold. Now, let's move on to the backgrounds first. So, we can make a red background. That is the body, that is the rich text box, document, background, and red, the blue, that is light blue, yellow, and made it yellow, and white, back to white, that is the normal one. Now, let's move to the menu. So, the first one is new. So, with this piece of code, I will remove all the text in the rich text box. With this one, I will make the font size back to normal, the font weight back to normal, and the background back to white. So it is just like when you open it. The first one that is open, I will tell the it opens a file dialog with which you can open which text box files. Now, with this part of code, it's basically, it takes the, from the beginning till the end of the text that you have saved. It also retrieves the font style and everything. With the same as, it opens a file dialog to save it as a rich text format. Now, this is the code to save the document from the start to the end. So, now let's see how it works. So, we have brand new document here. So I decided to write hello. I decided to make, make it bold. And to write a link, I can put it back all to normal. Now, 
Okay, plus font plus font size is increased. Okay, put it to font minus, it keeps decreasing until a certain level. This is the least it can go. Okay. This is the list of font size. It's practically never ending. Now, for the background color, we can do it as red, blue, yellow. We set it back to white. Now, let's say we want, well, we want to save it. As you can see, the file dialog opens up, and the save as tag is text file with art here. Let's say I want to save it as my text. I already have one, I just want to replace it. Okay. Now, I will show you how that file new works. So we have the text, file new, and everything is set back to normal. Now, if I do file, open. I will find it here. This is the use text file my text. I press open and there it is. The font, the the font size and font style, all is it. Now finally I'm back to this Thank you very much for watching.